Wow guys, there are so many under eye essentials just in this one box. Today we're going to look at the goodies that we got from Beauty A in the Autumn 2019 Beauty Pro box. Let's get started. Hey guys, Emily here with Beauty Pro Media where our aim is to inform, empower, and inspire beauty pros just like you through our reviews, event coverage, pro tips, interviews, and fun stuff. If you like our videos and want to see more, please consider subscribing to our channel. All links and information mentioned will be posted in the description box below, so be sure to check that out as well. Okay guys, welcome to yet another video for the Autumn 2019 Beauty Pro Box series. One of our featured vendors is a two-time Nala award-winning brand, Beauty A. Let's talk about what you got. Let's talk about this Prime Series Volume X Adhesive. This adhesive's preferred climate is 21 to 25 degrees Celsius with a 35 to 50% relative humidity. It is black in color, a thin viscosity, and has a fast grab and is good for classic as well as volume. Shake it well before use with this handy dandy pin that it comes with and make sure to keep the nozzle clean. Store it in a cool dry place and use it within two months of opening. Of course, that all depends on your environment and storage habits. Adhesive pro tip. If you find that you're getting lashes popping off when brushing through them during your appointment, the adhesive may be partially curing before you get a good solid bond with the natural lash. To fix this, pick up just a touch more adhesive so it will give you a second or two more playtime. Next in this Beauty A package, we have an assortment of spoolies in different colors and materials so that you can see which type you prefer to use. They are a one-time use item, but instead of just throwing them away, there are some animal rescues that could use them. I'll post a link below of a popular one, but you can also check with your local rescue so that you don't have to ship them anywhere, further reducing your carbon footprint. All right, now let's look at these colored under eye stickers. This is a sampler pack of four different colors. You have black, white, blue, and pink. And what you use will depend on what challenge you are facing. They are non-glare. So the white ones I use sometimes when I'm having trouble seeing the natural lashes. Like say sometimes my under eye gel pads have a slight glare. I'll slip one of these on top of my pads. The black, blue, and pink ones are great for those really blonde, almost white, transparent natural lashes. Some people prefer black, some prefer blue or pink. I prefer blue or pink over black. I personally use these in addition to gel pads, not instead of, but if you wanted to, you could. Other things I use these for is to tape up or tape down layers, tape aside some lashes to isolate easier, and to pull up excess skin instead of using tape. Be on the lookout for a future video where I go more into detail on taping up techniques. Speaking of under eye gel pads, we've also got an assortment here because everybody's preference is different. The blue package has two pairs of mini patches. This type is very popular in Europe. I often see them used during competitions. They are soft white and super thin, almost transparent and don't have a large amount of gel. They have a nice stickiness and stay in place, but are not painful to remove. In the white package, are their banana shaped pads, soft white, non-glare, and a good amount of stick with no ouch factor. Just like the TLC pads, I like to trim these to customize and they are thin enough and flexible enough to overlap. The ones in the black package are the asymmetrical pads and repeating myself here, but they are soft white, non-glare, and have a good stick without having a painful removal. Again, I would cut these to customize. I personally prefer to work with gel pads than tape alone. Lashes are a luxury service, so there should be no pain involved whatsoever. I know sometimes it's challenging to work with gel pads, but it does come with practice. Be on the lookout for a tips video that will show some gel pad hacks coming soon. Okay, last but not least, we have this tray of 0.07 lashes. They are a mixed tray of 8 to 16 millimeters, and you may have either gotten a B, C, or D curl. They were random. These are some of my favorite lashes. They're super consistent and easy to fan. 
The amount of stick on the strip is just the right amount for my preferred fanning technique. As always, before you start using them, be sure to prepare your tray by cutting them into single use chunks so you only dispense what you need and don't have to worry about cross contamination. Throw away any leftovers after each appointment. So there you have it, the amazing products that we got from Beauty A. Try them out and if you love these goodies as much as I do, be sure to hit them up to find out where you can get it. Today's question of the day, what is your favorite diameter of lashes to use? Let me know in the comments below. If you're just joining us, we just showed you how to best use the goodies that we got from Beauty A, our double award-winning featured vendor that was in the Autumn 2019 Beauty Pro box. If you missed out on the Autumn box, the next one will be the Winter box and you can get more information on our website. If you or someone you know would like more information on how to become a featured vendor, please send us a message. All links are down in the description box below. Thank you for joining us here at Beauty Pro Media where our aim is to inform, empower, and inspire you through video. You could have been anywhere in the world but you chose to be here with us and for that reason, we commit to continue being an impartial and authentic resource that you can trust. If you like our videos and want to see more, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you again real soon. And until next time, just remember that we can all be the change that we want to see in the lash world and beyond. Bye guys.